What's up, Blizzard Nation? Welcome back to another Build Boldly Game Plan presented by Bolt. We are joined by Ben and Coach Roberson. Uh, ben, you have a 1-0 and streak at home now, my friend. I won't steal your thunder if that was part of your speech, but uh, you have the floor. Yeah. You know, I mean, I, I don't I don't mean to brag, but <laughs> coach's team looked awfully good. And, and and you know, while I'm while I'm bragging, um, you know, when I was in Des Moines, my wife and I, uh, Des Moines was picked by Forbes as the best city for young professionals in the country, like three years in a row while we were young professionals. Now we move up here. Next thing we know, Green Bay is the number one city in the country. You know, we don't live there, but it's close enough. I'm sure we have something. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's because it's you. <laughs> yeah. But uh, 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 how about a beatdown uh, in the second half? You know, and Coach, I, I just uh, we were talking going into the game about the secondary play, and or two weeks ago, right? Um, those guys stepping up, and uh, Iowa uh, threw it down the field early in the game. Looked like um, you know just a half second worth of worth of recognition uh, off, but your guys in the second half made all those plays and took those balls away and got a pick, uh, a couple picks, you know, forced, forced turnovers. Um, heck, of, heck of an execution as the game went on. Yeah, yeah. No, uh, I uh, hats off to the uh, uh, Moogs and his team over there. Um, they came out blazing. I mean, and he, they were firing on all cylinders. Uh, a couple of former players we talked about with Keyshawn Taylor. I mean, he had seven catches, 107 yards for a touchdown. So, I mean, you talk about lighting up the scoreboard. He did that. You know, I mean, that's one thing we knew he could do. He did that while he was with us as well, um, especially when he led the league in touchdown catches uh, one year, maybe last year. But, um, no, uh, hats off to Coach Moggs and his and his team, and they came out and they competed and played well, and you know. Uh, but our team was resilient, um, and they uh, they kept they kept kept they stayed together, um, you know, even with the blown coverages, and we found a way to uh, you know pull out a win. It seemed like you know even when Iowa was scoring quick early in the game, your team just kept putting together drive after drive after drive, and it wasn't like it came down to lots of fourth down conversions or things. There were a couple of those, but you know it was just uh, moving the ball consistently, pick, picking up chunks of yardage, and and uh, you know um, other than uh, a, a short yardage situation, you ended up scoring on. But uh, that was really the only time that it seemed like Iowa, you know, could could maybe had a chance to get you off the field offensively. Yeah. No, we uh we stayed ahead of the chains. Uh, you know, I think we had something like uh 20, 22 first downs. Um, you know, uh coach uh Barrett did a great job with with preparation, especially with Max being that quarterback in his first start. And, you know, he he was every bit of advertised, right? You know, he came in, he stayed poised and um, you know, that was they were, it was a great job. And, you know, we had we had some, you know, penalties or whatnot, but uh, we stayed with it. And, and, and the guys, like I said, they stayed ahead of the chain, which was great. You know, that that always equals for success. You know, talk about Max play. You know, he uh, a couple of times pulled it down and ran it uh, a couple of times threw it away. Those are the kinds of plays that, you know, if you don't read it right away and figure it out and there's not an opening, you got to you got to do those kinds of things. Right. Right, right, yeah. Nope, uh, smart player. Uh, we knew he was smart as we, when we was recruiting him. Um, Whitewater kid, UW Whitewater here in Wisconsin. Uh, you know, they could pretend for the national championship at the D3 level uh, year in and year out. Uh, so we're very very fortunate to get him uh, and, and, and to get him to stay, right? You know, it's always tough being a backup quarterback, right? You know, but, you know, and, and you talk about perseverance, and that was his word at, at one point, uh, word of the day during our, our meetings and team uh, practice or whatnot. But um, he 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 were very he was very poised. I want to say he had seven touchdowns, four touchdown passes, three rushing. Um, so you know he had one heck of a game, that's for sure. Uh, I think he was fourteen to twenty one passing, uh, one hundred and seventy something yards like that, something like that. I wasn't stat watching, but I was looking. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. You know, uh, you you I, I got the good fortune and thanks. Thanks so much, uh, Ryan, to, to you and to the Trenkler uh, family for including my family uh, alongside you all. Um, an incredible experience uh, on Saturday night. Um, got the chance to be in the locker room before the game started and, and hear you speak to your team coach. And, you know, one of the things that um, 
seemed to really play out in the second half is just this idea of being committed longer. You know, you, you, uh, your team was just, just committed uh, longer than Iowa in that game from my perspective, especially up front, um, both sides of the football, you just kept, kept leaning on them, kept wearing on them. You know, they made some good plays uh, defensively up front to start with, but your team just kept at it. And, and, you know, that tenacity, um, really paid dividends in the second half. Absolutely. Yeah, that was, uh, you know, we talked about that in pregame, right? Uh, you know, that they were going to play, play their tails off. Um, and Iowa did play their they butts off for sure. Um, but we we were going to play ours off as well. And, um, you know, they get they hit us with their best shot early on and they kept hitting us in that first half for a little bit. And, and, and you know, we were resilient, right? You know, and we athletic up, up front. We big, strong, athletic. And you're right, we were able to uh, force our wheel on them and continue to uh, move the ball on them. And, and uh, up front, defensively, um, I mean, we got at the quarterback in the second half. Uh, For sure. Two picks, um, you know, two two turnovers. I think, yeah, he think he had two, two, two interceptions he threw in. Um, but that young man played well as, uh, for, yeah. for Smokes as well. But – um, and our our up front on the offensive side, you know, they I believe we still haven't given up a sack all season. Mm -hmm. So that that young that team over there is doing uh, playing very well, and that well that group, let me say that they're playing very well, and you know that's a good job to coach uh, Peacock with with uh, guys up front, offensive line and defensive line. So you're through the uh, midway point of the season, eight games in, right? You've had one off week, uh, and now you're you're going to play the Quad City Steamwheelers uh, three times in the next seven games. And play the barnstormers again in a couple of weeks. Um, but you know, four and four, there's lots of opportunity out there. And you know, you, you try not to get ahead of yourself, but you look at the schedule and uh it, it sets up pretty nicely. But most importantly, you're gonna play one of the best teams in the league three times, right? So uh talk about the steam wheelers. EJ Henderson uh at quarterback's a really good player. Um, what are you seeing from them? What do you think about uh the the offense you're about to face? Yeah, uh, Coach Ross did do a great job with with that with that group over there. Uh, coach Ross is a, a hell of a coach, and you know, hence the reason why they they made it to the championship. They got hot at the right time last year as they squeaked in the playoffs. Um, but that that offense is very explosive. Um, we've seen them for years, <laughs> for a few years now, and they could put points on the board. EJ Hilliard is uh, maybe if you watched uh, uh, the. Uh, commissioner talk he said you know front runner mvp in his book right you know and Very good I believe we have somewhere about 50 to 60 touchdown combined touchdowns this year um that that is insane numbers that he's putting up uh so you know that we have we have to contain that young man um he is he has got that's gonna be a tall task uh he he is every bit of advertised and you know pound for pound you know we don't talk about the quarterbacks of the league, but he is, if you talk about the quarterbacks in the IFL, he is probably number one or number two. And runs it, right? I mean, you know, that the, the dual <laughs> threat, uh, he can, he can um, take you deep and he can, and he can run it uh, and, and score the football with his feet, right? Oh yeah. No, he moves very well. I think he's about 6'3", 215. And um, he is uh, just as nimble on his feet as, as a little scatty back or a receiver. So um, it's, He's dynamic. He is very dynamic. So that's that's going to be our, our task is to stop that guy. Um, I think he's the machine on the offense. As he goes, the whole team goes. Um, if we could find a way to get get to him and, you know, disrupt him or, or whatnot, and, uh, you know, I think we, we'll have a fighting chance. So, you know, but I, I, I'm betting on our offense as well. Yeah, cool. So let's talk about that. Uh, you talk about your offense against uh, against their defense. Yeah, uh, you know, their defense got some holes in there, uh, you know, just with any, any team that play a lot of zone. Um, they are good run-stopping defense, but I think they struggle in the passing area. I, I, they have some turnovers, uh, you know, some interceptions, some unforced errors, but um, I believe our offensive line is able to, uh, you know, contain their defensive line. I, I believe we're better put put a lot of points on the board. So um, hopefully, uh, you know, Quad City's bringing enough uh, footballs, uh, you know, that's going to be going in the stand. So, that's my hope, right? That's my hope. <laughs> I'm talking a little crap right now. Me yeah. And <laughs> yeah, this whole thing just went on their billboard. So <laughs> the good news is, the good news is, you get to do it three times. So uh, yeah, yeah, it's gonna yeah be no, fun. it's gonna be, it's going I'm looking forward to to a battle. You know, yeah. uh, Ross and I, we had we had some good battles since 2019, and uh, you know, we're pretty good friends, and we, you know, we speak a lot. You know, we've been talking this week. 
even though we plan, we usually don't talk until after the game, but we had, we had a couple of conversations already. And, you know, I look forward to our battles. That's cool. That's cool. That is one of the things that I love about the league. You know, it was fun uh, seeing Coach Moj uh, have have interactions with the Tranklers, uh, you know, from the sideline, um, having been, you know, a Green Bay uh, guy once upon a time. And, um, you know, I just uh, – it, it's it's a um, – it's a big league, but it's a, but it's a small, you know, close knit deal too. Right. So, right, uh, right. you know, these guys uh, that, that you play, you may end up having on your team at some point in the future. And, um, you know, I think that's one of the things that I really respect about you is just uh, it's, it's easy to tell that uh, the opposition appreciates and likes, you know, um, and respects you as a coach and, and an individual too, but haven't played the game. So yeah, um, Good stuff. How about uh, the X Factor for this one? What do you think? X Factor. Contain EJ Hilliard. All right. <laughs> good luck. Yeah. No, we got it. We got it. Yeah, good luck. Thank you. <laughs> well, I already screwed his name up. So, you know, like, <laughs> if this thing ever makes it to him, they're going to be shooting, shooting all kinds of shots at us. So, uh, yeah, they're going to be fired up. That's for sure. I'm going to tell them to blame it on Iowa because that's what you <laughs> 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 yeah. No, EJ, EJ is the X factor and that's who we need to stop. We have to contain him. Uh, like I said, he is the machine over there. Um, as he goes, the whole team goes. So if we, uh, you know, we do a good job of keeping him uh, in, in a pocket and containing him and not letting him get hot. I think we, have, you know, it'd be a long day for them guys. Well, Coach, we uh, uh, certainly wish you best of luck as you as you travel on the road. Um, always one of my favorite things as a player to to go to a road trip, especially after feeling the you know the uh, uh, the, the excitement and and the gratification of uh, the kind of win that you just had, right? And uh, right. a lot to play for. I mean, your football team uh, is is with this win last week um and the chance to play against one of the top teams in in your side of the league it's kind of funny how the how the two leagues are, are uh, breaking up the two conferences right you know all all the all the best teams seem to be on uh our side of the table and and uh you know everybody on the other side is, is pretty consistent across the board right so yeah uh, that means climbing into that top uh, echelon is a difficult task but when you play the same you know one of those upper teams three times it gives you lots of opportunities so Absolutely. You get a chance to get to know them real well. Absolutely. Yeah. And we're going into a different environment that that fan base over there could get get pretty, pretty wild. The mark. Here it comes. <laughs> Watch out. I think it's all the Moline people. It's definitely not people from Iowa. It's, no, <laughs> it's not. The, it's yeah. No, it's, it's got to be the Illinois. They get loud up in there. That little <laughs> That arena is so compact. It's yeah. just, it, it, it yeah. is loud. It is loud. So they do a great job over there as well. Cool. Awesome. All right. Well, Friday night, Blizzard Nation, 705 kick. Uh, go to the game if you like traveling um, so we can have a voice in that building as well. Otherwise, View Party is in town at TNT Sports Bar and Grill. Um, then we have another away game the following week. That's Iowa, right, Coach? Yep. Yep. And then. Yeah. Yeah, we go here. Yeah. Quad Iowa. City, yeah. Yep. And then back home against Quad Cities for Military Appreciation Night. So anybody watching this have a vet or a serviceman or woman in your family, please let them know that we are providing free tickets to men and women who serve or have served uh, for our June 9th home game at the Rush in Quad against Quad Cities. So we will see them at home, and we'll make it loud. So there we go. <laughs> well, I appreciate you both. Thank you for taking time uh, and. Coach, travel safe. Ben, welcome back to the state. Thanks. Go Blizz. Go Blizz. Blizz.